What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another reverse 1999 video. All right guys, couple things to talk about real quick. We have a brand new event coming out very soon called the UTTU Gathering, which is actually going to be the newer end game content, very similar to how Limbo works, and that is going to be happening in the next 8 days and 15 hours. Um this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's supposed to be difficulty similar to Limbo, but again, there's going to be rewards and prizes that come along that will help you gather resources, help you level up, get you guys some more insight, and additional things such as Apple-themed outfit, which is going to be a brand new skin for Apple, limited portraits, crystal caskets, and progression material. All right, guys, so things you guys can expect in this new UTTU update, okay? So when it happens, this is what's going to be going down, all right? So November 23rd, to December 7th, the UTTU Challenge is a brand new game mode and the second end game mode added to Reverse 1999, as mentioned. We're gonna look at some gameplay shortly. The first one being Limbo. Much like Limbo, UTTU is a seasonal challenge with rules, enemies, and gimmicks that change in each iteration. There are a total of 20 regular stages plus 10 special week stages for those who are looking for an extra challenge. Uh, so you'll see stage 30 shortly in one of the videos. Uh, by clearing each chapter, the players unlock card slots, card framing stages, and currency that can be exchanged at the shop, known here as the UTT Market. Uh, sorry, UTTU market. Flame cards come in four different rarities from lower to higher, green, blue, yellow, and gold. And each character in the team can equip up to two cards in each slot uh, through progression. The cards offer special passives that can be combined in a multitude of strategies and are classified as five uh, categories. Ultimate bonus, incantation bonus, burst damage, action bonus, and comprehensive bonus. Aside from these, there are special rewards, uh, cards for Verton, also one of a kind that can be equipped at a time but with their special passes will benefit the entire team. And there's some exchangeable rewards, right? We got skins, we got some extra items, we got some of the, of the resonance uh, f forms, we got some books, uh, some more resonance items, some more um, exchange items for um, insight. So that's what to expect, guys. This is going to be the brand new endgame content. This is going to be big, and it's going to be a lot more expansive than Limbo itself. So let's actually look at some actual gameplay and see what it's all about, all right? So I'm going to say shout out to these two uh, content creators, and we'll look at a couple of the stages that they presented. Uh, shout out to this uh, Grand Trio uh, gentleman who has it. I think Devin Bull also have it. I, I'm just going to use this because I think it had a little bit more uh portrayal but you guys can see here there's a stage 30 so there's quite a bit to go here and right here before we go any further i just want to show you guys this coming up in the future as well for us very soon are these fame cards so these cards are going to be something we're going to have to get used to and get ready for you guys can see here uttu is going to be the se selection team that you have there's team selection there and then of course the ready button so uh this right now it looks like uh black dwarf eternity tooth fairy and i don't know who this is but Let's get into this and, and check out how this works and how this battle goes. So this is Changeling. You guys can see here the discoloration. Uh, you guys can see the background is completely encapsulated in like what looks like a snow globe. Uh, some extra mobs here. But it is very similar to Limbo in that regard, right? The whole world is completely upside down. Oh, it's a skin for uh, Cornbloom. Damn, son. Okay. She looks good there. So there's Eternity doing specials. Um, so we're going to just check this out and see what it's all about. Uh, Changeling still has a shield on her. Um, we'll see. We'll see. There's poison damage, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's a lot of poison, poison there. Um, the difficulty here on... I, I'm not sure exactly what level this individual is or how this these new fame cards affect him, but it looks like he's not having too many problems beating these opponents up right now. So get prepared for this. In the, in the next eight days, guys, we're going to be embarking on a new journey outside of limbo and more content is coming i know some people were complaining that there isn't enough content and limbo is just sometimes too difficult but now that you have this coming out it'll i think open the doors for a lot more people to have things to do now i'm not sure how the uttu functions in regards to whether he uses activity or stamina in order to do that probably not i bet you you can probably continue doing this uh, without any stamina use and just like limbo you can just tackle it but i would imagine you also are going to require additional teams now in regards to difficulty um as you guys are aware i've been doing it with three and four star units on limbo and i'm at the last stage of limbo so it's definitely clearable with what i'm doing but i don't know if uttu is going to have the similar effect with three and four star units so we may see a change in the account if i need to increase to five star units i may start using them um, but you guys can see here, these are some of the more meta characters being used. And I mean, the battle is lasting quite some time, right? We've got changing 
at only a quarter HP gone. I mean, right now we're going to probably see a lot more damage come through. Um, so keep that in mind. This looks like the the the, uh, the person who's, who's playing this account is doing a lot of damage as well. So w it looks quite... A, I mean, this is stage 30, so this looks like maybe it'll be one of the last and later stages. So we may see earlier earlier stages to be like easier, but this is the CN version. You guys can see a Black Barrel Dwarf did insane amounts of damage. There you guys go. Uh, so some content there. Shout out to uh, Grand True. I'll put this in the link below in the description so you guys can check it out. Again, there are other people who are currently doing this, right? He's got more here. Uh, you can check out Debbie Bull as well, who is also creating content for this. I believe he has that as well too. So if I go here, we can check out another one. So get ready for this, guys. Uh, here, I'll do Debbie Bulls now. So shout out to him. I think he's on the same uh discord as i am for the game so i'll put this link as well but you guys can see here four enemies all plant he's using changeling centurion uh kanjira i think her name is and i don't know who this is so again some some units that we're familiar with some that are not uh and again this is one turn out of 15 he's been doing the trial stage i'm not sure again if this is something we're going to see very soon or if this is something that's going to come out in the in the future but you guys can see here, some of the content creators already have access to this content and are probably aware and accustomed to what to expect. Now, with that being said, a lot of people are building their poison teams, okay? So poison teams are going to be massive here. So like, you know, I use the fool with Corrode. Well, Rabies is going to be a big part of that poison team. Uh, we got to figure out probably um, one or two more uh, poison units. I know there is one, uh, Castillo, I think her name is. She does, uh, she's on like an IV drip. Uh, so she is going to be on that team and then we'll probably have one more like maybe they'll have the source as a healer So definitely start working on your poison team guys So if you are playing the real game and you're leveling up your six stars if you, and you are changing for waiting for um, changeling so to be changeling uh, a healer of your choice whether it's pocket medicine or if it's um, Balloon party and then having someone like rabies on there to, to mass out your poison will be really really good to help you Beat some of this harder content because poison teams are just gonna sit there idly allow poison to do its ticks heal up and you're ready to go right so a lot of you folks it's time to probably start working on some of those poison teams to beat some of this hard end content even for limbo some folks are having a lot of problems beating limbo um i would highly recommend start putting together some of your poison teams as i mentioned a few of those units uh right now you can work on rabies you can definitely work on soul to be if you have her or if you have not pulled for her the banner is still available no actually i think the banner is actually done um so you may have missed out on that one unfortunately but if you do have her, start working on the I3 especially. The reason why her I3 is so good is her heal actually ticks right away rather than waiting a whole turn. So you can actually use her as a full-on healer and DPS debuffer. So Soul of the will be huge. Changing, you're probably waiting for her if you are building a poison team over Tooth Fairy. Um, you can, again, use Balloon Party, in my opinion, is the better option because you have a counter set as well as a better heal. Um, and then... Lastly, like I said, between Raby or Costello, or even the Fool if you want a tank to help you do some Corrode on top of the poison that you're already doing. So really important, guys, to start maybe thinking about working on those poison teams. As you guys can see here, changing will do a, a, a lot of damage. Uh, you guys see here, those are the fame cards that you get from finishing these. Those are going to be applied to our, our units as well, too, and help you conquer. Me, personally, I'm still sticking with the three and four star challenge. We're going to do this all the way through. I know it's not for everybody, but you know what? For me, it's making the game a lot more enjoyable, and it's giving me the challenge of a lifetime that I've never experienced before. So, very excited to see that. All right, guys, this is Payne. Again, those things will be on the uh, on the description. You guys can check it out. Uh, shout out to Devin Bull for providing that, as well as Grand Trio. I'll see you guys in the next one. Get ready. In the next eight days, start working on those teams. Limbo, UTTU, and game content. All right, guys. See you in the next one.